Welcome to The Kayla Lee Show. We're about to leave behind those old school beliefs and those low vibe limitations that lead you to exhaustion and to burnout as you grow your business. Together, we will explore how you can 2x your revenue in the next 90 days, how you can reclaim back 10 plus hours of your week, how you can rapidly create a multi six figure business or a seven figure business in less than 12 months. If you're listening to this episode, you are in the early stages of business. No matter if you are four years into your journey, eight years into your journey, or four months into your journey, you are at a stage where you desire to become fully booked with a six-figure bridal or beauty business, right? The reality is, Whatever you're doing right now is not working. You're looking around and you're seeing everybody get these incredible results and you're wondering why the fuck have I not achieved that yet? I get it because I was there. I understand it because I was also you too. It took me six years in business to go beyond 35K in one year of revenue. Today, I have two multi six figure businesses but it took me 10 years to get to this point. For the first six years of my business, the first business, Elegant Edge, I absolutely could not propel beyond 35K years. No matter what I was doing, it was not working, and I'm gonna share with you in this episode why, but no matter what I was doing, it absolutely wasn't working. I was not getting the results. Granted, 10 years ago, Facebook was only just launched. I used to hand my pamphlets around to my locals to invite more business in. Marketing then has absolutely changed now. However, with the strategies that I've learned and the strategies that I'm going to share with you today, the strategies that I've learned and implemented in my second launch of my second business, or the first launch of my second business, I was able to generate the same amount of revenue as my first business in only eight months. And the difference is these strategies. So I'm super excited to share with you the strategies that you absolutely need to build a fully booked six-figure bridal or beauty business ASAP. So no doubt, no matter if you are in your first four months of business or in your first four years of business, this is not a moment for judgment, not a moment of comparison, no moment of shame necessary. What happens from now is evolutionary. What happens from now is the most important part. You launched your business, you're posting content, yet you're not fully booked. Why? Why? Why is everybody else getting the success that you desire? They seem to post a photo on Instagram and then they seem to become fully booked. Why? It's because more than likely... You are assuming that you only need to post images to Instagram to get results because that's what it looks like, right? But the reality is, is that you're not seeing everything else that happens behind the scenes in a business of a six figure or multi six figure business. And today I'm going to share that with you. I'm going to help you shift your stagnant growth into becoming a fully booked six figure bridal or beauty business. I'm so excited. The four elements that we want to look at are the four strategies that will absolutely get you results. Your content strategy, your lead strategy, your marketing strategy, and your sales strategy. Are you doing all of that right now? This is the difference between a 35K business and a multi six figure business in eight months. It took me six years to propel beyond 35K in business. And even then when I did, I was not implementing all four of these strategies. Now I do because now I know how to get results, but I didn't always. The first strategy we're going to look into is your content strategy. Does your content stand out? Why are you different? Why will clients choose you? Have you built a personal brand and are you building connection with your community? Does your content strategy actually get you in front of your soul aligned client? Does it give you visibility? Are your dream clients finding you through your content strategy? 
Or are you just posting a photo of a cl- like a past client without a strategy inconsistently and wondering why there are no inquiries or DMs and they cannot find you? This was me. <laughs> this was me for so long. When I first launched Elegant Edge, absolutely no. I do not even think Instagram even existed. I'm going to have to look into that. <laughs> Facebook had only just been launched. Facebook was the only thing you use for business. And then all of a sudden Instagram came along and I'm becoming one of those old, you know, the grandparents are like the parents and they're like, oh, back in my day. Well, that's truly what it was like, right? When I first started business, a photo to Instagram is all I knew. So it's no surprise to me now that this is all some of you understand as content and as marketing because you don't know what you don't know, right? But the reality is is there are strategies that you can use in your content to get you in front of your soul aligned client. Look at how you're showing up on your content. Are you building connection? Are you building a brand that stands out? Or do you look like Sally down the road? Do you look like there is no difference between Sally and you? Why would somebody choose you over Sally? Can they see why you're different in your content? And is your content, is your content strategy actually getting you in front of your soul aligned client? Can they find you? Because the reality is, and it's going to break some hearts, the reality is, is that if you're just posting one photo to Instagram without a strategy, you are not even getting a result for all of the effort that you're putting in. The difference for me in creating incredible growth in my business was a strategy for my content, a strategy for my leads, a strategy for my marketing, a strategy for my sales. That is how I became fully booked in both businesses. That is how my team became fully booked. I was intentional. I had a strategy. Those gave me results. The second thing we're going to look at is your lead strategy. Do you know where your soul aligned client is hanging out? Are you using strategies to actively get in front of them on all social media platforms? Are you utilizing your exposure and your visibility? Have you created a network of dream vendors who have your soul aligned client in their audience? How are you connecting with them? How are you building relationships? How are you getting in front of their dream clients? How are you getting more visibility and more exposure to your soul aligned clients through your network? Have you got strategies in place to bring those dream clients back into your world? How are you inviting your dream clients into your world? What is it about you? What is it that you have to offer that is going to be so fucking inviting for them that they become obsessed with you and they will absolutely choose nobody else? Do you show up with that level of audacity? Do you show up in that power? Or is there a layer of you that actually second guesses and doubts whether or not you have what it takes to attract them? The third thing we're going to look at is your marketing strategy. Do you strategically map out your promotions and your sales or is this something that you do when you've you've hit a whole, an all time low, when you're freaking the fuck out and you're like, where am I going to get clients? I have no clients this week. And then all of a sudden you're in reactive mode. Like you're not proactive, you're not strategic, you're in absolute fucking reaction. Like you're in, what's that word? I can't even think of it right now. It's like, um, it's actually left me. It's gone. Can't, it's gone. It's gone. Um, are you freaking the fuck out? Because you look at your calendar and you're like, I have no more clients booked in. Where am I going to find them? Is it then in that moment of fear and doubt and scarcity that you're like, I'm going to offer free trials here. I have 50% off here. Like, do you just literally dish out all of the, the promotions and the sales just out of scarcity and lack in fear that nobody's going to come. This is reactive marketing. This is not strategic. This is not intentional. And the energy behind it 
is not inviting. It's not attractive or magnetic. It's like needy, need, need, need. Do you have that? Or are you strategically mapping out your promotions from a space of fucking excitement? Like I'm here, I'm ready. Let's do the badass things. Do you consistently offer your client base, your existing client base, the opportunity to continue buying from you? Or have you forgotten about your dream soul aligned clients that you already have in your world that are right in front of you? You will spend less money on marketing if you can continue to support your existing client base. It costs more money to acquire a new client than to offer dream experiences to your existing client base. How can you expand what you do and offer incredible experiences to your clients where they want to keep buying from you? Because why? They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with everything you do. Are you consistently showing up in your marketing to create opportunities for your community and potential new clients to connect with you and become obsessed with you and buy from you? Or are you expecting that one post to Instagram of a past client is enough for you to create enough exposure and visibility to your soul aligned client. This is my biggest mistake. One photo to Instagram, zero strategy, and I did not get the results. I transformed in January alone, in January alone, in January alone, I was able to create $23,568 in revenue just in January, just with my bridal business. I'm going to share some figures with you to share with you how potent your sales and marketing and content can be when you are strategic and intentional. In January 2021, when I had no strategy and I used to post to Instagram one photo of a past client, zero strategy, inconsistently, wondering why the fuck everybody else is getting all of the success and I'm not. I had one bride become a client in the month of January. One bride. I had zero strategy. The revenue was $680. In January 2022, I had 17 brides become a client from my social strategy, my socials and my mar- my content and my marketing, $14,140 in revenue. In January, 2023, I had 65 brides from my socials that generated $23,568. Now that is the difference between showing up with intention and strategy in your marketing and your content and your lead gen strategies. So if there's ever a moment in time where you're wondering, Is it worth it? What's the point? Does it get results? This is the result. This is what's available to you. This is what's potential for you. There's no difference between me and you except for these strategies. The strategy number four is your sales strategy. So does your sales experience make a full body fuck yes for your potential clients when they come into your world? Do they land on your social media, is there a clear pathway for them to go from your social media to becoming a client of yours or are they wondering how the fuck they can even inquire with you? Do you have strategies in place to give you the high level, high quality conversion in your sales experience? This is where inquiries become a client of yours. How does that sales experience look in your world? Is it a full body fuck yes for your clients? Is it easy for them to inquire with you, DM you, get a proposal from you, get a quote from you or find your online booking scheduler link, book in with you? Is it easy for them to pay a deposit and receive the confirmation and sign a contract? Or is your sales experience clunky as fuck? How supportive is your sales experience? If we zone in on bridal for a second, if we zone in on bridal, how supportive and incredible is your sales experience? Would you love your sales experience? 
Do you build connection even more so with your sales experience? Do you continue offering value in your sales experience? Or is it this weird ass energy vibe where you're like, please book, please book, please, please. I need validation that people will book me. Have you created a highly converting sales experience or do your brides ghost you more than they respond to you? What does your pathway look like to book in with you? Because we ultimately, we don't just want to capture our brides or our clients from our social media. We actually want to create intentionally a pathway for them to book in with us. How does that look for you? Is it clear for them to see an Instagram post, slide into your DMs, receive the, the, the link to book in with you or inquire with you? Or is it easy and is it a clear pathway for your clients to see a photo of you or a recommendation, go to your website, find any more information, even grab some more value from a blog post that's SEO rich, by the way. And then can they lead into a call to action, which is inquiring with you to check your availability? How incredibly clear is your pathway to book with you? What does that sales experience look like? What are the strategies that you're implementing to to create highly converting sales experience? The goal is to absolutely show up potently on your content, to implement lead gen strategies in your business, to market with intention and purpose, but it's another thing to convert those inquiries into becoming a client of yours. So reflect on your actual business, your model and your results. Audit what your results are. Are you getting inquiries? Where are they coming from? Are you having brides book in with you? Are they confirming it? What is that conversion? How many clients inquire with you and then book with you? Is it 30%, 50%, 80%? How many clients or inquiries come from what social media platform? What does your website analytics look like? Your tracking. Is it an incredible client user experience to navigate your website? Is it an incredible client user experience to navigate your Instagram or your social media platforms? Is it easy for them to send an inquiry through to you? How supportive is your sales experience? How much connection do you build in your sales experience? What is your strategy to convert more clients? When you implement these four strategies, your content strategy, lead strategy, marketing strategies, and sales strategy, that was a lot of S's, you will absolutely become fully booked in the next six months. And these strategies are the exact strategies that I will teach you inside of Boss Business, my CEO, Six Figure, Six Figure CEO, as well as my expansion mastermind. These are the strategies that will help you to become fully booked. Having awareness that there is so much more to marketing and sales and content than posting one photo is so necessary in business. This is the way that you can transition from a hobby to a multi six figure CEO. Thank you for joining me today, gorgeous. If you're loving this episode, it would mean the absolute world to me. If you could take a screenshot, share and tag me in all of your socials. I love seeing this podcast reach as many ears because I want to help so many women access more time, more revenue, more growth in their business without sacrifice. This is my absolute goal for this podcast. So don't forget to hit subscribe or follow and leave an epic five-star review because for every review, you will receive free access to my Ignite Master Course, which was worth worth $2,991. So Ignite was a three-hour business growth conversation to help you overcome your challenges, accelerate your business and implement strategies that will help you to access more revenue, more time and more growth and help you to create the lifestyle and business of your dreams in the next 12 months.